Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Recon Paint Gaming. I'm Padre, and today I am being joined by none other than our good friend Haley. Say hello, Haley. Hello, Haley. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Andy does the same thing. I don't know thing. why you expected anything less. I, I really don't. Or expect, more. Yeah, yeah, more likely I don't expect anything more. Anyhow, I just got back from the, the, the best four days of gaming anywhere. We went to, of course, Gen Con. And uh, as we were going through Gen Con, you know, I spent some money. But today, what I'm showing you, didn't spend money on. I got a copy of the Pirates of Sky Dock from our good friends at Gale Force 9. And they said, hey, bring it home and unbox it and show everybody. So that's what we're going to do today. Just off of the get-go, uh, the box art is stinking fantastic. I, I, the top, great graphics. The back, you know, they got a nice little blurb all over the back. It's 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 fantastic. I am looking forward to opening this box. I'm so looking forward to opening this box. The only thing I did was like cut the cellophane off and then you know sniffed it because I, I have a you problem. You have to I, sniff the cardboard. It's I, new cardboard. New box smell. So let's open this up and let's see what we get. Slowly we lift. Ah. <sighs> okay. I love for, a little pop when you lift it up for the first time. First off. In fact, I'll leave that. First off, we have a rule book, and my first thing that I always go to is I want to see how many pages it is. Okay, this is 19 pages, and it's also got a round sequence on the back, which I like. Um, so right off the get-go, it's getting a thumbs up because anything longer than like 30 pages, nerd, not that good. But I like a, a good rule book that you can get your teeth into and, and go at it. Um, it's got a fair amount of text into it, not a large amount of pictures, which, okay, well, I stand, stand corrected here. Okay, so they got you the board layout. We got some good graphics in here. I'm not complaining about this. I'm not complaining at all. And then, oh, we have a little informative sheet here. Let's see. Oh, ooh, it's two pages. This is about Skydock, so this must be the narrative about the whole game and everything. Um, what I like about this 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 game is uh, it's 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 kind of cooperative but it's not really cooperative only one person is is gets to be the winner but what the deal is you're a bunch of pirates which i am at heart anyhow and there's a, a new ship that has been built and it is a really nice warship but it hasn't been built by any government so somebody else built it for probably nefarious reasons oh i like that that's a big word anyhow uh, so you, we as a group decide we're going to steal the ship and hopefully we don't get caught and hopefully we succeed, but only one person can be the captain. So you can kind of team up to work together, but somebody's going to get backstabbed at some point. That's the best kind of game. Yes, I agree. And, um, I'm not a big card game person. I never, right. never pretended to, to be one. But as I looked at the back and what the game is about, I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to give this a whirl. As you can see right here off the get-go, look at all of these nice big old tokens. You got good graphics on them, and obviously these are some form of, I have no idea what they are until we play the game. But a uh, good amount of tokens here, and it does appear that they might be faction-based or at least crew-based, person-based. So we have security, cargo bay, we have something back, mad, med, med bay. bay, med, med bay, yes, I can read, just not backwards and upside down, usually. What, that's not a skill you have? N not really. Okay, so that's two, here's three. And the hover lift, the science lab, the crew quarters. Oh, look, we have more tokens. Because you can never have enough tokens. Look at how nice. 
be first player token. These look like something or other. And this is obviously one of the standees. So this game does not come with miniatures, but you do get standees, which I don't mind so much. And then this is the, the, the game board per se. Uh, let's see, we have room, 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 dock, drift engine. We have the bridge. We have some more rooms. We have the alert level. So I'm sure we're, we're, as we go along, we're going to get, uh, more, uh, frantic and, and frenzy as the game goes on. Okay. So this I like. I like a nice tray where everything goes into. And let's see. Uh, obviously these are the player boards here. And I like this. They're recessed. So my guess is these tokens fit into this slot here. Don't move around. And Probably some a form. player card. Yeah, I would say so. This is nice and thick. I like it. Now it is pressed cardboard, but it's put together well. Oh yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Yeah. So that's not going to get bent up and broken too much. Ooh. No, and it's going to keep all your playing stuff nice and organized. Might be here. A 20-sided die. And let's see if they customized it at all. Oh, they did. There's a little, little skull and crossbones on it. That's your number 20. Let's see if I get a 20. I don't. So, I'm dead. No. But that's okay. And, oh, these are pretty. I like these. These are some sort of, I would venture, I guess, some way of counting something. But these are acrylic. You can just tell by the feel of them. But they're a pretty blue color. I like these. And there's a bunch. And if they were dice, those would all be 20s. I'm sure they would. Okay, so we have a, a bag full of standy stuff. And these, there's six of these. So I don't know why there's so many. If there's only four players, but maybe there's security. Oh, this is excellent. They give you three separate bags to stow your goodies in. And then they've got this tray underneath those uh, player card holders. And they got another... Another bucket of stuff here where you can put stuff into, and the cards go into this. I like the fact that Gale Force Knight, as of late, has been making pretty good storage trays with their games. Um, there's not a lot of companies that put that level of care into their games, and uh, Gale Force Knight has definitely been doing that. So let's rip open some cards and take a look at some card art. Okay, so, all right. So, oh, I like this one. Slip the guards poison drinks. Who doesn't want to do that? Uh, infiltrate the ventilation ducts. Add gas to the airflow system. These are not nice things. Shut yeah, down pirates. the cameras, of course. Use explosives to stage a diversion. I like to, to blow things up. Break open some physical locks. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, upload a new is that, guard patrol route. So you could probably have people running hither and yon. Okay, here we go. Spy drones. Jet boots. Ooh, I like jet boots. Jet pack. Serum. Okay, somebody's getting poisoned. Uh, symbiote. Oh my, that's probably not going to be good. Uh, stun gauntlets. And an, an auto injector. Okay, so there's some interesting cards right off the get go. And then, why don't you tear this one open and see what we get? Because, you know. I suck at tearing things open, so hopefully Haley's better at it than I am. We'll just wait and see how long this takes. Okay, yep, right to the teeth. Right to the teeth. Teeth are more effective when you don't have nails. That's true. I, I don't have any nails, so. Mine aren't exactly the best either. So, we'll get rid of our, our trash and our garbage. Blah, blah, blah. So, what do we got here? Got an apostate arms dealer. Ooh. Hell Knight. Let's say. 
We... Media mogul. Oh, yeah, that's us all the way. Skittermander collector. Free captain. He gets. Starfinder Venture Captain. You see, now I really want to read all the rules and get into it. We'll have to do... Aslanti Defector. Terminator Engineer. Ooh. Draconic Fixer. And then it looks like... Oh, you've got some more action cards. So, like, you can bribe dock officials, reconfigure docking clamps, override engine controls... Disable engine safeguards. I like that. Pay off the crew. Well, that's always good. Yeah, it's a smart strategy. Train a first mate. Memorize the ship. And then we have some more cards. These are different. Well, these are encounter cards. So you've got like guard encounters. Random encounters. Yeah, just a lot of different guard encounter challenges and random encounters. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of stuff that we have to do in this game, which is not necessarily a bad thing. No. These look like character cards, if I'm no. not mistaken. I do know that um, the game is supposed to take 60 to 90 minutes to play. So, And it sounds like that is going to be a, a good evening around the table with some you know, shall we say, barley sodas and a bag of chips, at least. Um, and I like that. And I also like the fact that it's ages 14 and up for this game. So, you know, I've always, I, you know, if you got a 12-year-old that seems, you know, pretty stable, go for it. Why not, you know? Um, it did come with action reference cards, which is good, because I like this as the reminders. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then they've also got turn, turn sequence, sequence on the back, so everybody can always remember how to do their their turns. I like that feature. I like that feature an awful lot. But yeah, look at look at all the storage in this darn thing. That is just, hey, you can keep your stuff organized while you're playing for sure. Oh yeah, that's just absolutely fantastic. And like I say, Gale Force Nine has been doing a lot of that um, as of late. With their with their any of their new games, um, which I think is really great. Uh, let's let's read the back of the box here real quick, though. Let's see. Uh, it is a prototype ATEC Immortal class ship is preparing for its maiden voyage. It was not commissioned by any military, but rather by a private entity that wants their involvement to be kept secret. Considering the military might of this vessel, it will not be used for anything good. With the right allies, you could sneak aboard and execute a plan to sail off through the stars on your very own vessel. Doing so would remove a threat to any innocent folk who might find themselves in its path. Of course, there can only be one captain. What better way to decide that than a competition? I like that. So, and, and you know... Uh, Pirates of Skydock tells the story of several Starfinder uh, adventurers trying to seize a new vessel. Players must accomplish several tasks to steal the ship. Doing so will require a combination of glory, crew support, and potentially external backers. The adventurers, the adventurers can work together to accomplish their goals, but only the character with the greatest glory will win the bet and become captain. Of course, if security gets too high, the ship will lock down and no character will become captain. And the other thing they have on the back end of the box, you can see that uh, code there. Take a picture of it and it'll bring up a video on how to play the game. Uh, I think what will be a really good idea is at some point in the very near future, we get Vito, we get Andy, and uh, we sit down and we play this. Yeah, absolutely. Because I definitely want to give this game a, a thorough and very good go through. So, right now, for a card game that I'm not a big guy, fan of doing card games, I really want to try this out because I, it, the premise of it sounds fun because, you know, I get to steal a big giant spaceship with lots of guns and go pew, pew, pew. And Who doesn't maybe, want to be a space pirate? I mean, arg, I want to be a space pirate. So, with that, we're going to sign off. 
make sure you guys take a look and uh, we'll probably get a playthrough of this uh, within the next couple of weeks up. We have a plethora of games to unbox from Gen Con. Just, just a lot. Just, just a lot of games. And uh, we will get through them and we're going to have a good time and all that good stuff. So, uh, Haley, you got anything else you want to add? Oh, I think that uh, given the fact that it's a Starfinder game, automatically, if you're into any type of tabletop role playing, I think this is a good way to slide into a board game too, I because agree. it's got that association. Yeah, and and like I say, so far I have yet to be disappointed with the game from Gale Force Nine. So they usually got really good uh, rule sets and everything. So. We'll give it a whirl, and when we do, you'll be able to watch, learn how to play it, and see what kind of fun we have, and, and you know, maybe, hopefully, at least one of us, you know, leaves the table in anger, because, you know, it's no fun unless somebody's really torqued off at the end of the game. So, for Haley and myself, we say see ya!